Let's go, Ray, for this. A lot of us, a lot of the bands that play today got a 13 hour drive ahead of us tonight. So, it means a lot that you guys came out. Ah, set it off, especially after two days of great bands. So, give it to yourselves. You gotta take bands.
more of it than I ever was. I don't expect to be. But the best thing I can do is walk around making sure I don't hurt people or the people that I love. There's a lot of bands that play this festival that I grew up admiring. And a lot of bands that are new that you guys, probably younger kids, grew up admiring and probably washed it up and had some fun. And we had the privilege to tour with some of those bands. So give it up to Cool Hank. Inspiring. Backtrack. As you get older, you see a lot of bands, you know, that decide to call it a day. You watch the curtain close, and then at the end of the day, you're like, fuck, I wish I was at that last show. I wish I should have gone off. I've seen that band a bunch of times. And the last time they decided to do their thing, I wasn't there. I was too busy sitting in the back, twittering about how. So I heard some kid talking shit about this or that. Don't worry about that, that shit. You leave that at the door. You hold this moment that you appreciate these bands. This goes up to a band I grew up admiring and loving. And they wrote songs about how they love this room and other certain things and even words can express the shit we do in these rooms. The hatred that disappears the fucking racism that doesn't exist sometimes. The sexuality and homophobia that shouldn't exist. With that, then you forget this one goes out today before she sings. Show! 
cold world. I don't think you heard me. Cold world, give it up! And set it off. And just like us, I gotta drive 13 miserable hours to California. So my shirt from all those bands. I think it's backtrack cold world uh, expire. And uh, I'm missing one more. Dead and half. Who saw them yesterday? We'll give it up to those guys. You gotta do the shitty drive just like we do. that have shit to say. I'm too busy worried, worried about my own petty bullshit and the shit I need to fix in my own life first before I can walk out that door and start saying shit to people. And it's cool that somebody like Trial knows what they're talking about and is ready, prepared to talk about that shit. I'm just not here to pay it. And it's kind of sad that I'm not. I've been, most of my life I've done, I've done things the shittiest way just to make it out, just, just to be happy with myself and sometimes not even that. I did a lot of ugly shit to get where I am today, just to breathe, just to have food in my belly. I know nobody wants to hear this, but all I've been doing all weekend just to eat is uh, pocketing a bunch of shit down here at the QFC. Really nice to meet you so much. I had to do a bunch of shit, and it's really easy for people with a white house on the hill to say, oh, there's other ways you can do it. People are so quick to criticize and judge when they have no right, when they don't know what some of us have been through, when they know the corners we were pushed into. What would you do? Who would you? What would you do if it was you? Swamp, white,
two more. I'm cold, but I'm gonna come up and fuck your shit up. So we can play. Exactly one year ago, at Rainfest, we released a record called Supra. And uh, we didn't really have a complete layout. If anybody's wondering, those were all test presses that we sold that day. And uh, we didn't have covers, we had to go make inserts. And uh, we were spray painting shit outside on that sidewalk. So I apologize if any of that got on the sidewalk. But uh, it was cool when uh, we take the initiative, we start doing shit on your own. We're on a nice label that treats us really well and uh, supports what we do. But it's kind of cool when you get down in there and do shit your way, DIY style. Don't ever forget, <laughs> keep that shit real. Keep that shit real. And lose my knees in the streets at a VFW in a fucking garage. Rest in peace, Tiki House. I can't smile every day. There's not a lot of good shit I see out there. I want to make a change, but there's too much shit drowning me and making me hate it. I hate most people I talk to. I hate people I see at work. I fucking hate too much shit. Fuck my job, fuck my teacher that made me believe that achievement was on a piece of paper. Cause there's not anybody that felt like they got cheated with the wrong views.
Thank you.